What I'm about to share with you took me more than five of the last years of seriously collecting to accomplish this. And what that is, is my very first complete set of any particular platform. And that platform is the Wii U. Um, why? Because I've always liked the Wii U. I thought it was a pretty cool console and it doesn't have hundreds and hundreds of games. It has 165 games. And while that is still a lot, uh, it wasn't as bad as something like collecting for the NES where some of the games cost more than a cheap house. I mean, it's kind of crazy, but we're gonna take a look at every single game in the North American Wii U collection in today's video. What's up everyone, I'm Game Dad, and I have been trying to figure out how I would do this video for the past couple of months now because I didn't wanna just be like, here's this game, here's this game, here's this game. I felt like that would be too repetitive. I mean, there will be some of that, but I also thought about what if I showed gameplay of every game, and I mean, it, even if I showed only a minute of every single game and showed gameplay of all of those, this would be an extremely long video. And I don't think anyone would watch a video that long. I mean, that's what, two and a half hours? That's, yeah, no, that's crazy. Nobody would watch that. So we're gonna go through, I'm gonna show you all the games in my North American Wii U set. And along the way, I'll have some stories uh, about how I got different titles, what I remember about picking them up. Uh, if there's anything special about it, and those are the ones that I will actually show gameplay of. And yeah, I mean, there's nothing to it but to dive in. I keep looking down, there's a massive pile of games in front of me, and we're gonna go in as alphabetical as I can. I think I have it all in alphabetical order. We're about to find out. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Um, but here we go. 007 Legends. Um, I mean, it's a 007 game. It, it was okay. Uh, it goes through and uh, it shows you a few of the different games or a few of the different movies, but that's about it. Adventure Time. Explore the dungeon because I don't know. Um, I don't really know much about this franchise. I never really watched Adventure Time, but it was one of the ones that was on here. Then we have Adventure Time. Finn and Jake Investigations. Guess what? It's another Adventure Time game. Uh, now we have The Amazing Spider-Man Ultimate Edition. Now, this one I like. The version on the 3DS, I don't like. It's nothing but quick time events, and I found it very boring. But this one was pretty good. This is based off of the one with the dude whose name I forgot. He's a British guy. Let me know down in the comments below if you remember what his name is. Uh, but he was the one between Tom Holland and uh, Tobey Maguire. It's, it's that Spider-Man. Then we have The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Uh, again, not a bad game. Not the greatest Spider-Man game, but it'll do. Angry Birds Star Wars. This one, uh, this one is actually low-key pretty fun, and it has cool use of the Wii U gamepad. And Angry Birds Trilogy, same thing, fun game. Uh, Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival. This is the dumbest Animal Crossing game ever made. Uh, it is an attempt at Mario Party uh, with all the fun sucked out of it. I don't like this game at all. All right, then we have Assassin's Creed 3. This is actually really cool on the Wii U. They really utilized the gamepad for this, and they even had a Steelbook edition. All right, so, I mean, that's part of my 165 is I got a Steelbook edition for it too. So, same game twice, but I, I really like the Steelbook. That's one thing, I don't have a ton of variants of things in here. Like, I know there are some big box variants of some of the games. I don't have those, I don't care. Next up, Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. This is in my top three favorite Assassin's Creed games. I, not necessarily the Wii U version, but just this game in general. I loved Black Flag, it was so good. Uh, Barbie and Her Sisters Puppy Rescue. It's, it's a little kid game, it, it's not that great. Uh, Barbie Dream House Party. Uh-huh, it's same kind of thing. It has like a bunch of mini games and stuff in it. Uh, this was the second to last uh, game that I picked up, and this is the Axiom Verge Multiverse Edition. Uh, I can't speak, edition, there we go. Um, and this one had a lot of controversy around it with its release uh, through limited run. There was a lot of licensing issues, things like that. It eventually got re-released on the Switch, and I have it there as well, but this is a phenomenal game, and there is even an Axiom Verge 2 on the Switch. So that's awesome right there. 
Okay, next stack. Whew. Okay, there are so many games that we are going through today. We have Arkham City, uh, it's Batman Arkham City Armored Edition. Uh, this one is okay. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of this one, but this one is okay. And then we have Batman Arkham Origins. This one is a ton better and really utilizes the Wii U gamepad. I like that one. Uh, this is pretty cool. This is Bayonetta 2, but pretty sure, yeah, this is the one that is the physical of Bayonetta 1. The only way that you could get the Bayonetta 1 physical was, uh, or at the time anyways, was to buy the Wii U version of 2 because it came with number 1. And then they had a Japanese collector set that had both of them physical as well. And I have that set on the Switch. Then we have Ben 10 Omniverse. Uh, Loki, this one's actually pretty fun. It's uh, kind of classic style, like action platformer with beat em up flair to it. I mean, pretty good. Uh, ben 10 Omniverse 2. More of the same. Uh, graphically, I liked it a little bit less, but not bad. Uh, this was the final game that I got in the collection. It took me almost, I want to say two years to find just this game, uh, where I was actively looking for it and hunting this one down. And I would always find it sealed. I didn't want to pay for it sealed. And not only did I go months without ever seeing it again, but I found it twice at the same convention, once sealed and once unsealed. And that is the Book of Unwritten Tales 2. And this game, um, I mean, I actually like it. It's, it's pretty fun. Uh, it's a classic story-driven game. And I mean, it's not the best I've ever played, but it's, it's a pretty cool game. It's not bad. Uh, speaking of games that uh, aren't very good, Brunswick Pro Bowling. Um, it's, it's a bowling game. That's about it. Uh, oh, this is one that also took me a really long time to find. Maybe eventually I'll look for a better label. This one has a little water damage, but that is Cabela's Big Game Hunter Pro Hunts. Now, there's another one. Pro Hunts is the one that's very hard to find. It's not expensive. It is just hard to find. They didn't make a ton of them. And then we have Cabela's Dangerous Hunts 2013. Uh, if you've played one Cabela's game, you've played them all. It's like the classic arcade where they got like a rifle light gun thing and you just shoot animals. I mean, that, that's basically it. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Um, I mean, if you've ever played Black Ops 2, it's a great game. Uh, a little weird on Wii U. Uh, it's weird that it's on a Nintendo console. But, uh, I mean, yeah, it's Black Ops 2. Uh, Call of Duty Ghosts. I actually kind of liked this one. Um, it wasn't the best Call of Duty, but, I mean, it was good. I enjoyed it. Uh, this one. Okay. I loved this game. And I got it on Switch as well. That is Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. This game is so good. Oh my God, this game is stupid good. Uh, and it's just such a fun puzzle platforming game in a 3D world. And I very much enjoy this game and I very much enjoy the character of Captain Toad. Uh, Cars 3, Driven to Win. Uh, it's a racing game set in the Cars universe and it's actually a lot of fun. If you've ever played it or not played it, I mean, you know, you can let me know in the comments below, but I enjoyed it. Um, the Crudes, Prehistoric Party. Uh, this is a bunch of mini games, things like that, and it's not bad. Uh, definitely a pricier one nowadays, but this game is pretty cool, and I like the Cruise property. This one, a lot harder to get my hands on than the one after it, but that is Darksiders War Mastered Edition. So this is Darksiders 1 on the Wii U, and fantastic game. It doesn't really play any differently on the Wii U than it does elsewhere, but yeah, Darksiders War Mastered Edition. And that leads us into Darksiders 2. Uh, you can find this game literally anywhere. It is available everywhere. Uh, but yeah, Darksiders 2. Deus Ex Human Revolution Director's Cut. Uh, so this is the base game with some extra stuff in it. And with the Wii U gamepad, you actually uh, get some extra like control options with the gamepad. You get like maps and stuff like that. So pretty cool game. The next one is the single most expensive game on the console and that is Devil's Third. Now this one, the price fluctuates all the time. It will go up, it will go down. Uh, if you don't like the price, then maybe wait on it a little bit and the price might go down for you. Um, the game though is actually pretty fun. Uh, I paid more for this than I wanted to. I remember seeing it for about 50, 60 bucks and then like three months later, it was like $500 and I had no idea why. Um, luckily it went way back down again, uh, but it was still more than I wanted to pay. But 
Devil's Third. Uh, now, the next three uh, are basically repeats of the same thing. Uh, they have updated story elements, but I've never been a fan of this kind of thing, and that's Toys to Life stuff. Uh, I know Jay over at Square Pegs loves Toys to Life, and that is awesome for Square Pegs. Uh, I'm not a fan, but we have Disney Infinity 1.0, we have Disney Infinity 2.0, and we have Disney Infinity 3.0. Uh, so they have stories set inside of it, and then you can use the little like amiibo style NFC figures, and they will um, like activate things in the game, stuff like that. Uh, super, super good game, and I believe it debuted on this console. I don't think it was on the Wii, but it's also uh, come to the Switch. That is Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. This game, pun totally intended, uh, is bananas. You're welcome. Uh, yeah, no, this game is super fun. I really enjoy uh, Tropical Freeze. I love a good Donkey Kong Country game, and this one absolutely does not disappoint. The visuals in this game are amazing. Even to this day on the Wii U, they look phenomenal, and it is just a super fun game. Uh, next up is a remaster of an absolutely classic game on the NES, and I think it looks fantastic with its updated graphics the Wii U version of DuckTales Remastered. They had this on the PS3 and I believe the 360 as well. I know it was on the PS3, but DuckTales Remastered, very fun game. If you like a classic DuckTales game, you'll love this game. Now, this game, the first one was excellent. This one was also excellent and they have a uh, remastered version coming out for the Switch very soon and that is Epic Mickey 2, The Power of Two. These games are so cool and so innovative and just a ton of fun. Next up, we have ESPN Sports Connection. Um, it's ESPN's attempt at Wii Sports. That's what it is. Uh, then we have Family Party 30 Great Games Obstacle Arcade. Um, this is just a sad attempt at a like Hasbro Family Game Night kind of thing. Um, Fast and Furious Showdown. This is kind of like loosely set in the Fast and Furious world. Uh, it's kind of like, um, not a GTA or anything like that. It's kind of like a driver. It's, it's like a driver game, basically. Uh, FIFA Soccer 13. I don't care about soccer at all. It's a sports title and it was dirt cheap. Uh, Funky Barn, this game is just a lot of stupid fun. Uh, it's ridiculous, it does not take itself seriously at all and it is just a fantastic time. That is Funky Barn. Here is a great game that is filled with micro games, and that is Game and Wario. Uh, if you have ever played a Wario micro game kind of game, uh, they are super fun, and they always utilize all the fun controls of whatever console they're on, uh, including this one. It uses the gamepad in tons of different ways. That is Game and Wario. This game is awesome. All right, up next we have another stack of games. Okay. Game Party Champions. If you ever played the Game Party games on the Nintendo Wii, then you'll know what this one is about. Same kind of stuff. Uh, it's just updated for the Wii U. It's got a lot of fun games on it, mini games, things like that. Gianna Sisters Twisted Dreams Director's Cut. Uh, this is a really cool story-based platformer, and it's just, it, it's a ton of fun. Graphically, it looks amazing, and it is definitely one of the harder ones and a little bit more pricey ones to find, but this game is really cool. Guitar Hero Live, it doesn't work. Uh, the live server shut down quite a while ago, uh, but hey, Guitar Hero Live, there we go. Uh, Hello Kitty Cruisers with, uh, Sa Sa Samri, Samrio, I, I don't know what that says. Something Friends. Um, I forget what they are in this universe. This game, it looks ridiculous. Okay, it, it's Hello Kitty. This game is an incredibly competent kart racer and it's a ton of fun. If you've never played it, you gotta at least give it a try. Uh, Hello Kitty Cruisers. Ah, this one, I do not have the actual artwork for it, so it's a printed artwork, but it's a super fun game, and they've come up with a couple uh, like renditions on the Switch, but that is Hot Wheels World's Best Driver. That is a really good game. Uh, I mean, if you've ever played a Hot Wheels game, it's like all of those, except it's updated for the Wii U. You get cool map functionality and different things on the gamepad, but that is Hot Wheels World's Best Driver. Uh, I love this movie franchise and even the like cartoon animated franchise, whatever you want to call it. This is How to Train Your Dragon 2. Um, this game is a lot of fun. Uh, it 
it's one where it's not like a super serious game or anything like that with some in-depth story. It's just a fun game set in the How to Train Your Dragon universe. Uh, Hyrule Warriors. Um, I don't like Dynasty Warriors. Sorry, any Dynasty Warriors fans. This is Dynasty Warriors with Zelda characters. I like this, but it has the thing that I don't like about Dynasty Warriors, which is so much to do and so much repetition. Uh, there were some cool like extras and stuff to make it more Nintendo-y uh, and Zelda-y, but it's Hyrule Warriors, Dynasty Warriors, whatever. It's the same thing. And then they came out with uh, the remake on the Switch and then Age of Calamity. Um, I mean, they're all the same kind of game, but it looks good, plays well. It, it's fun, it's just you gotta have a uh, time commitment if you really wanna go for everything that's in it. Uh, this game, super cool, Injustice Gods Among Us. I really enjoy this game. This is a very competent fighting game. Uh, they have uh, the Injustice 2, and I think there's rumors of an Injustice 3 coming out, uh, but very cool fighting game. If you have never played a fighting game with DC characters, here you go. Uh, next up, Jeopardy. That's what it is, it's Jeopardy. It uh, uh, it has Alex on there, you know. Sorry, Alex. Uh, but um, yeah, it, it's Jeopardy. I don't know what you wanna know about that. Uh, oh gosh, the next 11 titles, yes, 11, uh, are ridiculous that there are that many. Um, but we have, we're just gonna jam through these. You all know what they are. Uh, Just Dance 2014, Just Dance 2015, Just Dance 2016. Just Dance 2016 Gold Edition. All they did was add a piece of paper with some extra game codes. Just Dance 2017. Just Dance 2017 Gold. Same thing. They added some extra crap to it. Just Dance 2019. Just Dance 20. <gasps> These were in the wrong order. Just Dance 2018. Hmm, I messed up. Okay. So, let me move some more of this out of my way. Get this next stack. Just Dance 4, sorry, there was more. And Just Dance Kids 2014, Just Dance Disney Party 2, and thank God those are done. If you have never played a Just Dance game, uh, I hope the rock you live under is comfy, but um, they're, they're Just Dance games. Uh, it's like poor man's DDR, I don't like them. Uh, Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. I love a classic Kirby game. This one really utilizes the gamepad well as far as touch controls. And I love the like claymation cake frosting looking look and feel of this game. And it's just a fun story. Uh, I really enjoy Rainbow Curse. Kung Fu Panda, Showdown of Legendary Legends. Uh, this is just a Kung Fu Panda fighting game. Um, it's fun though. It, it's got some cool characters and stuff in it. I enjoyed it. Um, Legend of K Anniversary, very cool game. I, let's see, 25 different levels with over 15 enemy types and epic boss battles. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's just a fun story-based game. If you've never played Legend of K, I recommend checking it out. I'm sure they have some sort of modern remake for it too. Um, next up, game probably nobody has ever heard of, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Um, it It's like this weird, like, elf boy goes around collecting things and wants to, like, slay a pig. I don't know. Uh, Breath of the Wild. Come at me in the comments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, next up, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. I like this better than on the Wii because I didn't care for the nunchuck controls on the Wii. Uh, they always bothered me. I always forgot about how to use them properly and I didn't like it. I liked it better on this. Uh, and now this next one is one of my top Zelda games. Um, that is gonna cause controversy because many, many people don't like this one, but this HD version is so much better than the GameCube version. Wind Waker HD. I want this on the Switch or whatever the next Switch is gonna be uh, because this game is freaking cool, man. And I love the cell shading. All right, Lego Batman 2 DC Super Heroes. It's a fun Lego DC game. Uh, Lego Batman 3 Beyond Gotham. It's a fun Lego Batman game. Lego City Undercover. Original story and super fun. And then they have Undercover and Undercover 2 on the Switch. These are great games. Uh, Lego Dimensions. More Toys to Life stuff, uh, but more of a story, in my opinion, than Disney Infinity. Lego Jurassic World. It's Jurassic World, but a Lego game. Uh, Lego Marvel Avengers. It's Marvel's Avengers, but a Lego game. I gotta get this last stack over here. Okay. 
Lego Marvel Super Heroes. It's Marvel Super Heroes, but a Lego game. Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens. It's part of the sequel trilogy, but it's a Lego game. You, you sense a trend? Guess what the next one's going to be? Lego The Hobbit. It's The Hobbit, but a Lego game. Lego The Lego Movie Video Game. It is a Lego, Lego movie video game. Now that that's over, uh, Madden NFL 13. I don't care. It's a sports game. You get like extra plays and stuff on the gamepad. I just, I don't care. Uh, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games, Sochi 2014. Uh, the Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games games are actually a lot of fun. Uh, if you've never played them, I would recommend them. They have them on tons of different consoles and they're a good time. Uh, then Mario and Sonic at the 2016 Olympic Games, more same fun. Uh, this was in my games I regret buying on the Wii U, uh, and I'll explain again why. Uh, Mario Kart 8. The only reason I regret having it on the Wii U is because the Switch version is so much better and has so much more content to it. Um, but Mario Kart 8 is a phenomenal game. If you're living under that same rock that uh, was mentioned previously, and you haven't played Mario Kart 8, um, you need to move first. Rocks living under them sounds painful. Um, and you need to play this game. Mario Party 10. Uh, this was the first Mario Party game that I really did not like. Uh, because I didn't like the cart system where you're all like dumped in a cart and moving together. I did not like that uh, mechanic. And I believe it was this one and the next one where they did that. But then they got away from that again and went back to really like fun gameplay. I didn't care for this one at all. Uh, Mario Tennis Ultra Smash, super fun game. It made me feel like I was playing like Mario Tennis on the N64 or whatever again. It was uh, it was really cool and I like the Ultra Smash technique and stuff like that in it. Really fun game. Uh, Marvel Avengers Battle for Earth. Uh, I don't remember much about this one. What was this? Uh, it is a like Borderlands style cell shaded looking game. Oh, it was a fighting game. Um, yeah, so I mean, it's just a, a Marvel fighting game. I don't, it wasn't memorable for me. Sorry for people that like it. Mass Effect 3 Special Edition. Again, the gamepad give you a ton of extra information in this game, and Mass Effect 3 is a phenomenal title. Ooh, I love Mega Man, but, but this dude messed up. Uh, and for my buddy John, for my buddy Jay, they, uh, they know, they know. Mighty Number no. 9. It, it was there. It was there. It wasn't, it, they didn't take it across the finish line though, but it's, uh, uh, this is from the dude, if you don't know, not the original, original creator of uh, Mega Man, but from the original creator of Mega Man. Um, and they just, they missed the mark on that one, unfortunately. Minecraft Story Mode, a telltale game series, The Complete Adventure. Um, if you've ever played uh, Minecraft Story Mode, think story-based game uh, in the style of the Telltale games. They made a ton of different ones. Uh, they made like some Walking Dead ones. They made Wolf, uh, Wolf Among Us, I think is what it was. Um, but it's using Minecraft characters. Uh, Minecraft Wii U edition. Hey, guess what? It's Minecraft. I should check this out and see if it still works. Hmm. But since it's a Nintendo one, it actually, just like on the Switch, it includes uh, Nintendo-based things and Mario-based things that you can do. Okay. Next up, I'm just gonna move some of these out of the way so that I have room for the next one, two, three, four, five stacks of games. Oh, Kidoki. Let's move these out of the way. Hopefully I don't knock anything off the table. I probably will. Next up, we have Monster High, 13 Wishes. It's a kid game. Uh, it, I don't really remember anything about playing it. I likely will never play it again. Uh, so yeah, ooh, collector, it's on the shelf, whatever. I don't care. Uh, are you gonna play it? Monster High 13 Wishes, and then Monster High New Ghoul in School. Same kind of thing, it's Barbie but monsters. Um, Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate, super good game. Looks freaking amazing on the Wii U. This game, this game is sick. Uh, NBA 2K13 featuring, or uh, executive produced by Jay-Z. I like Jay-Z, I don't like, basketball games, except for NBA Jam. NBA Jam rules. Most Wanted U. Uh, it's a Need for Speed Most Wanted game uh, on the Wii U, hence the, the U. 
Um, that's that's about it. You get some extra stuff uh, from the controller or from the gamepad, but that's about it. Um, this was awesome, and I loved that they continued with this trend. And any the new NES uh, Nintendo World Champions thing, they tried to recreate this. I feel like they kind of missed the mark. I mean, that's its own thing and it's fun, but it wasn't quite this. Uh, this is NES Remix Pack. Um, and this is awesome. It's a bunch of micro challenges. Think like Wario st WarioWare style micro challenges, but uh, for a bunch of different awesome Nintendo games. Uh, then right here, we have two things that coincide with each other. Oh, that's right. I do have a little bit of variation going on here. So we've got New Super Mario Bros. U. I really enjoyed this game. I thought it was fun. A lot of people don't like it. I don't care, sucks for them. Uh, then we have New Super Luigi Bros. U. Or no, just New Super Luigi U. Uh, so it's essentially the same game, but with Luigi. And it is the only Wii U game that has this green case. And then there's a variant of that and Luigi in the same thing. So yeah, that's that. Um, if you haven't played it, uh, it is a very fun game and I recommend playing it. Uh, let's see. Next up, uh, this is the one game where you can basically find it sealed anytime you want ever at any convention because they must have just printed millions of these and said, hell with it, we don't need to ever sell them. Uh, Ninja Gaiden, Ninja Gaiden, whatever you want to call it, uh, three Razor's Edge. Um, it's Ninja Gaiden Hard. Uh, it's a pretty cool game. I will give it that. Uh, graphically, it looks really cool. But um, there is just an unlimited supply of sealed copies of this game. So if you want one, it's very easy to find and it's very cheap. Uh, next was a pack-in, and I actually really enjoyed this game, Nintendo Land. Uh, it's the Wii U pack-in, and I thought it was awesome. It like utilizes and showcases everything the gamepad can do, everything the Wii U can do, and it has a lot of really fun mini games in it. I enjoyed it. Uh, Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures. Um, I don't like this one as much as I like Pac-Man World 1 and 2, but this one is still a lot of fun. It's a 3D open world Pac-Man game, uh, and that's cool. But Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures 2, on the other hand, is superior to the Pac-Man World games and Ghostly Adventures 1, in my opinion, because you get to do a lot more. There's new worlds, there's new ways to explore, and it is just a super fun 3D open-esque world uh, for a Pac-Man game, and I really enjoy it. Uh, up next, Paper Mario Color Splash. A lot of people dumped on this game. Uh, I didn't mind it. I thought it was kind of cool, but uh, it, it's not the best Paper Mario game. I don't even need to say that's my opinion. It's not. Um, but I thought it was fun, and I thought it got kind of a bad rap. Next up, oh, another animated franchise uh, that I love, uh, the Madagascar franchise, and this is Madagascar, or Penguins of Madagascar. Um, super fun game, kind of beat em up -y and uh, makes you feel like you're kind of living, uh, living an episode of the show. Next up, oh, I'm so excited because new episodes of the show are coming out, and I love this cartoon, Phineas and Ferb, Quest for Cool Stuff. Um, this feels like every kind of just cool like Nickelodeon game, uh, the ones that were good, not the ones that were bad. Um, but this is, yeah, Disney's Phineas and Ferb Quest for Cool Stuff, and the game is super fun. Uh, this was actually the first one I played in the franchise, and I've since gone back and played the other ones, and I thought the one on the 3DS was really cool, uh, and I thought 4 was amazing, but that is Pikmin 3. And they utilized the controls of the Wii U so well with this, and the multiplayer was so fun using, uh, like being used in this game. This game is amazing. I love the Pikmin games. I love that franchise. I want them to keep making more. Uh, if you liked Disney's cars, but you wish they could fly, well, they made planes. Um, it tries to be the Cars game and the Cars franchise, but those are cars and these are planes. I don't like it, uh, but somebody did, because then they have planes, fire rescue. Same thing with a new element. Uh, here we have Pokken Tournament. Uh, I liked this a lot better than the version on the Switch. Um, I don't know why, I just did. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's uh, like Pokemon Stadium, but it's the next evolution of it. Uh, so it's Pokken Tournament. Uh, then we have Rabbids Land. Uh, this is a party game with the Raving Rabbids from Ubisoft, and I love Rabbids. 
Uh, they are super fun and it's a cool game. Uh, here's a game that's not cool, but was kind of pricey, and I was annoyed by that. That is Rapala, Rapala? I don't know anything about fishing. Uh, it's Pro Bass Fishing. It's exactly what it sounds like. Okay, this game has been ported to literally every freaking console ever. Uh, Rayman Legends. I don't know why it's not that great of a game. It is a really fun game, and it's a very competent Rayman game. I don't think it deserved to be ported to, like, I kid you not, basically everything. Um, but, yeah, that's... Rayman Legends. Resident Evil Revelations. Um, I'm not a huge Resident Evil fan. Uh, I never have been. I don't like horror stuff. Uh, I like comedy. Um, but I, I heard this game was good. I haven't played it. Sorry. Rise of the Guardians. Uh, cute movie. Uh, my kids haven't seen it yet. We, uh, we need to correct that. They need to see this movie because it's cute. Uh, but this is just a movie based on DreamWorks Rise of the Guardians. Uh, then we have Rodia. Rodea. Rodeo Drive. Uh, Rodeo the Sky Soldier. What's cool about this one is the Wii U version also comes with the Wii version of the game. It was the only way to get a physical copy of the Wii version. And I'm just now realizing uh, the other side of the cover, I'm not going to take it out and show you all, uh, it has a Wii cover on the other side. So you can do the Wii U side or you can do the Wii side. Next up, we have Runbo Deluxe Edition. And this one, I like the animation style of it, um, but overall the game is just kind of like, eh, it, it, it's a game. Uh, Scribblenauts Unlimited. I love Scribblenauts games because they are so damn creative and they are a ton of fun. And then we have Scribblenauts Unmasked, also a ton of fun. And then we have one, it took me forever to find a not sealed copy of this. And I finally did, and I really like the slip cover over it. Uh, who made this? Oh, that's right, because I thought it was a limited run game, but it's not. It's by V-Blank Entertainment Incorporated. That is Shakedown Hawaii. Uh, this is like, uh, what is it? it it's kind of beat-em-up-esque, beat uh, kind of like top-down fighter, like Jackal or something like that on the NES. Uh, it's a bit-style game, but this game is a lot of fun, and I think they have it on other consoles as well. Uh, next up... Uh, this is my favorite Half Genie ever, um, and that is Shantae, and here we have uh, Half Genie Hero. This is a fantastic game. I love all the Shantae games, and I wish I had every single one of them in my collection. I have a lot of the heavy hitters, but I don't have all of them. Like the Game Boy Color one, I don't have that one. Uh, and then where it all started for this brave little knight with his shovel. Shovel Knight on the Wii U, such a phenomenal game. Why is this case so heavy? Oh, that's right, because it came with a full stinking color manual. Look at, look, oh my gosh. This is like the world's thickest game manual. Jeez, that's why it was so heavy. Uh, but Shovel Knight on the Wii U, phenomenal game. And it's been released on other things. They have different games in the franchise now, and it's super fun. Uh, Sing Party, think like Rock Band or Guitar Hero, but only singing. Eh. Uh, here's more Toys to Life stuff. Not a fan personally, uh, again, but they made a ton of them. And the stories, the stories were okay. Even if you didn't have the Toys to Life part of it, uh, the stories were okay and they were cute and imaginative. Uh, we have Skylanders Giants. We have Skylanders Imaginators. We have Skylanders Superchargers. And fun fact, uh, there are two, four, four Amiibos. It's two variations of two different Amiibos. Uh, that were in Skylander Supercharged that work for this game, but are also actual Amiibos. Uh, it was a Bowser one and a DK one, but they had regular versions and dark versions. Uh, then we have a Skylander's Swap Force. We have Skylander's Trap Team. And that's it for the Skylanders on the Wii U. Up next, the Smurfs 2. Um, it's, a, it's a Smurf game. Uh, it's based off of the Smurfs 2 movie. Sorry. Uh, Sniper Elite, uh, uh, in my opinion, an incompetent sniping game. It's not very good. Um, Snoopy's Grand Adventure. Uh, I love the old Red Baron, but graphically this game is ugly. I don't like it. This game is awesome. Sonic All-Stars Racing Transformed, or Sonic and All-Stars. Uh, the Sonic All-Stars Racing franchise is excellent. They do a very, very good job. They don't try to be a kart racer. It's not a kart racer. It's a racing game. Uh, and it is a ton of fun. If you've never played a Sonic racing game, definitely do. Uh, Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric. I didn't care for this one. I thought the story was very mid. Uh, 
Um, yeah, that's kind of all I have to say about that one. Uh, Sonic Lost World, the Deadly Six bonus edition. I liked this one more than Boom. Um, but again, it's an okay Sonic game. It's weird having them on Nintendo consoles. Uh, here we have Splatoon. If you've ever played a Splatoon game, this is what started it all. Um, I liked this version the best, honestly. I don't really care for the like PvP, PvE style games that you have now. Um, I prefer the original. I thought it was more story-based and more fun. Uh, here we have a terrible looking cover, uh, but this is, <clears throat> let's see, Nickelodeon, SpongeBob SquarePants, Plankton's Robotic Revenge. Ooh, look how bad that cover looks. Damn, that's nasty. I need a new cover for that one. Um, it's a 3D SpongeBob game, uh, kind of story-based, uh, but just a random story in the SpongeBob universe. That's basically what it is. Uh, now, this one right here is a twofer. Uh, it is Star Fox Zero. I didn't care for it. Uh, Star Fox Zero wasn't that good, but what I did have fun with was Star Fox Guard, uh, which was like a tower defense game. Uh, so it came with two games, um, but I didn't care for Star Fox Zero that much. It was all right. Um, it looked good, um, but... Star Fox Guard, I had a ton more fun with, actually. Uh, these are amazing, and they're also on Switch as well. That's SteamWorld Collection with SteamWorld Heist and SteamWorld Dig, A Fist Full of Dirt. Um, the SteamWorld games are a ton of fun. If you've never played any of the SteamWorld games, I highly recommend picking one up. They have them on modern consoles as well. Super Mario 3D World, fantastic game. I like the Switch version better because you got more, um, and then you got like the Bowser's Fury and all that stuff with it, but 3D World, what a phenomenal game. I, I love Cat Mario. Um, Super Mario Maker. I was very annoyed when this game uh, first came out because you had to keep logging in every day in order to keep unlocking stuff. And then after about a month of people pissing and moaning about that, they're just like, oh, never mind, just turn it on. You get on there, everything unlocked. So I had to go through that and then they just unlocked it all anyways. But if you wanna make your own Mario levels and stuff like that, Mario Maker. Super Smash Bros. Wii U. Uh, this one fully integrated with the 3DS version, uh, which I thought was really cool. That way you could kind of like continue your play. Um, I don't really care for this one though. I like Brawl and I like um, uh, the new one, Ultimate, because it just has everything. Uh, but yeah, it's Super Smash Bros. on the Wii U. Why is this one heavy? Oh, that one had a pretty thick manual to it too. This one? is actually a lot of fun. Tank, tank, tank. Uh, it is just a tank battling game. It's super fun on the Wii U. You get extra controls with the gamepad and it's fun just blowing stuff up. Then we have uh, Tekken Tag Tournament 2 Wii U Edition. Um, it's Tekken Tag Tournament. If you've ever played a Tekken game, here you go. Terraria. This one is a lot of fun and surprisingly competent on the Wii U. Um, eight, bis, uh, eight bit, like uh, not survival game, but pixel-based game, um, and it's a lot of fun. Here we have Tokyo Mirage, Tokyo Mirage Sessions, hashtag FE Special Edition. I, I don't know anything about this game because I didn't even understand the title, uh, but this one, it came with, it's the collector's edition that comes with the, uh, I don't think they sold it outside of this, but it comes with a soundtrack and it comes with a really cool art book. But yeah, Tokyo Mirage Sessions. I don't know much about this. Splinter Cell Blacklist, not a good Splinter Cell game. Transformers Prime, actually a pretty cool Transformers game. Uh, I enjoyed playing this and I had fun with the visual art style. Here we have Transformers Rise of the Dark Spark. Um, this one I didn't care for. It's like loosely based on uh, one of the movies, I believe, uh, but I didn't really care for this one that much. It, it felt like it tried too hard. Uh, here we have Tumblestone, what was this one? Oh, this one is a puzzler kind of game. Uh, think like um, Bubble Bobble or something like that. Uh, it's that kind of game, just on the Wii U, and was not bad. I enjoyed it. Uh, the Voice, I Want You. No, I don't. Uh, Turbo Super Stunt Squad, another very pricey game on the system. I don't know why. Maybe a limited print run, maybe? Um, but it's a fun game set in the Turbo movie universe. Uh, the Walking Dead Survival Instinct. Um, it's a survival horror game. I don't like it. Warriors Orochi 3 Hyper. Um, it is like Dynasty Warriors, but a fighting game. That's basically it. Uh, Watch Dogs. I really liked this on the Wii U. It had extra functionality with the gamepad and it was a ton of fun. But yeah, a lot of people dumped on the first one. I don't know why. Uh, let's see here. Wheel of Fortune. It's what you think it is. 
Uh, we fit you. It's we fit, but for you. We party you. Uh, we like to party, and so do you. We sports club. That one took forever to find. Uh, oh gosh, yeah. Uh, Wipeout, create and crash. It's based on ABC's Wipeout. It, it makes me cringe every time I see those people like slam into stuff and I just think what's happening to their spine. Uh, then we have Wipeout 3 and these games are basically you're playing people hurting themselves. Um, Zombie U, this is a survival horror game as well, but this is actually a lot of fun and it really utilizes the functionality in the gamepad uh, to kind of enhance the game and they do a damn good job of it. Uh, this is Zombie U, very easy to find this game. Uh, Zumba Fitness World Party. I just don't care. Uh, the Wonderful 101, this is awesome. Did we get a Switch port? If we didn't get a Switch port, we need a Switch port. I really like the Wonderful 101. It's 100 heroes uh, that all come together to do various things, and I thought it was a really fun concept. Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X, I really enjoyed this one. I'm not a huge Xenoblade fan, but I really liked X, and I really liked the collector's guide that came out for this. Uh, my wife got it for me whenever it came out, and I just, I thought this was a really good game. Very nice open world and it was just, it was pretty. It was pretty to look at. Um, Yoshi's Woolly World. I love this game. I love Yoshi games and I love when he is made of yarn. Uh, and I believe this was the introduction of Poochie. Um, but Yoshi's Woolly World, this is a super, super fun game. I enjoy it very much. And then we have Your Shape Fitness Evolved 2013. Yeah, it's it's We Fit You, but by someone else. Um, that's 165 games. If you stuck through to now, thank you. If uh, you felt like I earned it, uh, please let me know down in the comments below and also hit those like and subscribe buttons as well as that itty bitty little notification bell so you can alert every time I get a new video coming out. That is the full North American Wii U set. Uh, a couple of variants in there uh, that I had actually forgotten that I had. Um, but overall, it took about five years, or uh, no, a little over five years to actually be able to collect all of these. And my rule was I couldn't buy it online. I had to find it out in the wild. If I would have bought it online, I could have had it years ago. Um, but I didn't. And yeah, so it took me a long time. But it was always fun when you found that one that you were missing, especially when I got to Book of Unwritten Tales 2. It was after months and months of searching, and finally, I found two of them at the same show. So, that was awesome. Now, if you liked today's video and you want to see another recent video, check out this area right here. And as always, I'm Game Dad. I thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you later.